Okay, now the next thing we're going to work on is replacing the isolator solenoid in a 2018 Wonder with a Kisei DC to DC charger. And this is a Murphy bed floor plan. So the isolator solenoid is in the driver's side armrest of the chairs for the Murphy bed. Okay, so this is what the panel looks like open. And there's the isolator. This is this is the isolator solenoid that we'll be replacing. And somewhere in this rat's nest is the isolator delay relay. So, let's get started. You're on. Okay, so I took these two connections off of the isolator solenoid. This side is the chassis battery, so I've put them on a circuit breaker. And now I've taken the house, these two connections, which were the house side from the isolator solenoid and I'm putting them on a circuit breaker. Okay. And I'm just doing that to Make sure I don't have to worry about these aren't the house battery side isn't hot, but the oh, but the chassis battery side is because I didn't disconnect the chassis battery just because it's a pain in the butt on a wonder. Okay, so be careful with it because it's a hot connection. All right, so the only wires we have left to take off the isolator solenoid is this red wire, which goes to the isolator delay relay. It's a switch wire. And then these wires down here, which are the ground, which are ground wire connections, we'll be putting those on a separate ground. Um, and uh, so let me keep working on uh, removing that. So record this. Okay, so we're having to take this seat off because it's just too hard to work in this in this space. Well, okay. There's two in the front and two in the back. So, um, so we're going to remove the four and remove the seat. We'll come back. And here's the screw. Four Torx T40 screws. So no power, but it... it's got a connection probably for a safety. Well. Then we're not gonna be. I mean, you can maybe you can move it forward, but you're not gonna be able to remove it then unless you take off the connection. There's not a connector uh, okay. here. I was thinking there was a clip. Uh, so the best thing we can do is move it a little bit forward. I can sit there. Oh, 
Okay, now he's he's going to tell you how he got this off. Okay, so first we took out the four T40 Torx bits to take the seat rails off the platform, and then under the seat there's a seat belt sensor, and there's one bolt in the front. So you loosen this up, and then this connector will pull straight out, and then that will allow you to take the seat out completely and give you more working space. Okay, I've taken the isolator solenoid out, and now I have to remove this, the isolator delay relay. We're going to be completely taking that out, but I am going to cut this blue wire because that's the ignition uh, that's an ignition signal wire, and I need that for a relay that I have to put on the Kise because in the Wonder, the battery connection, the chassis battery connection is always hot, and I have to have the Kise isolate with an ignition signal. Okay. Uh, so we've removed the isolator solenoid and the isolator delay relay. These two things are what joins the chassis battery to the house battery when the engine starts for the alternator charging. So we are, uh, so we remove these because we're replacing these with the Kise 50 amp DC to DC charger that will limit the amount of amperage that the Lithionics lithium battery can pull from the alternator. It'll limit that to 50 amps, and you need a DC to DC charger to limit the amps because a uh, lithionics battery can pull as much as 150 amps, and you don't want a battery trying to pull that many amps from your alternator. It could burn it up, so you definitely want to replace the isolator solenoid with a DC to DC charger when you upgrade to lithium batteries. Can you see this? Okay, so we had to put this board here. Had to put this board here across. I had to undo this main, uh, this connection right here is where um, uh, Leisure uses the three customer connection points that are on this 2018 chassis. Um, that feed from directly from the chassis battery. So I had to take this. It was mounted about right there on those where you see those two screw holes. So I had to take that off. So we can now get the Kise in here to be mounted on that board. Uh, and then we can start doing our connections. Okay. We are going to try to push a coat hanger through that blob of, watt of uh, foam back there because we need to run a larger ground wire for the DC to DC charger. Okay, we have a coat hanger coming up through that blob of wire and we're going to pull our ground yeah because I only need probably about four or five inches down here oh okay to go to the chassis bolt here Okay, so we've pulled our new ground wire. This is a four gauge wire. We're gonna use that for all of our ground connections with the Kise. Okay, I need a ground wire. So I'm gonna use that larger hole to, I'm gonna clean that larger hole off and use that as the mounting location for this ground uh, eyelet. Okay, so there is my ground wire connected to the frame. I'm going to paint that and then it goes up through this blob which is basically off the back corner 
of uh, the storage compartment on the driver's side, right behind the driver's seat. So, there we go. Okay, I've got the Kisei wired up and I actually used pre-made cables. Um, because I thought it would might be faster. And I've also got the uh, relay wired, which again, I used a pre-made cable. Um, and this is going to go between the chassis battery uh, circuit breaker, which is actually that one in the back. It's so this relay will go between the chassis battery circuit breaker and the Kisei DC to DC charger. So I will get it all put in and show you what it looks like. All right, I have the Kisei in. I have all the wires hooked up. I have uh, the circuit breaker. I mean, it's... It's a tangled nest. I got a circuit breaker for the ample start. I got my circuit breakers uh, and my relay over here. I've got a uh, master ground right down there. You can hardly see it. But it's all in, and as I said, that there's the ample start way back there in the corner. Its light is flashing because I haven't hooked up the house battery yet. But it's all in. Let's start her up. Okay, first I'm going to close the house battery circuit breaker. Now I'm going to close the chassis battery circuit breaker. And now I'm going to turn the key say on. Fan, good sign. Alright, press Info for 30 seconds. I did the wrong thing. Okay, then you press set to advance it to lithium. Then you hit next to set it. Now it's on bulk and push set I want it on 14.2 next this is float I want it on 13.5 I want it set to 50 and I want that to be 10 amps okay and then in a few seconds you, uh, it will go out of the setting screen. Okay, so the key say works. And now we can close the circuit breaker to the ample start. And I can't see, but there should be both start and how to, how battery are flashing. So we've got to look, see what's up with that. Okay, so we're done, and we will uh, get a panel on this, and we'll see what's happening. Okay, as you can see in the background, the Ample Starts green maintaining light is on. Uh, the way I fixed that was I took it off of lithium mode. I put it on normal mode, which is actually perfectly fine because a lithionics battery has the same charging voltage profile as an AGM battery. So just having it normal um, is, is perfectly fine uh, for a lithionics battery. 
and the chassis battery. Okay, so I added um, this nice uh, satin nickel finished decorative panel. So it will allow the Kisei to get plenty of air and the Kisei fans to move uh, to cool and move the air around so it, it cools itself. So now we're ready to put the driver's seat back on and Tyler can be on his way. This is the uh, clip for the electric seat under the, um, on the Wonder driver's seat. If you undo that little uh, hex head, you can pull that clip off the front and that will allow you to remove the driver's seat with no problem. You just take off the four uh, Torx bit T40 um, screws, one in each corner of the frame of the seat base, and you can take it off. Oh yeah, there it is. Let me move it up so you can see. The Kisei has whirled to life. Um, but I can't see what it says. I'm not sure this can read it. But it says you've got... Forty amps right now. Okay. Wow. All right.